Can you file a green card for your spouse if you are a US citizen but you're residing overseas? There are some things you need to know if your primary residence is not in the United States. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. This video will explain how a US citizen who is currently residing abroad and file a green card for their foreign spouse. There are some complications. It's not enough to be just a US citizen. You also have to show that you have domicile in the United States. Before we explain that, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matter, all you have to do is send me a text 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. So as you know, some of the requirements when you file for a green card for your spouse is that the US citizen is serving as the sponsor of the foreign national. Typically financially, we use that with form I-864. But in addition to being a sponsor, the US citizen spouse must also demonstrate that they have domicile in the United States. Now, when you live in the United States, it's not that hard to show. You can show proof of your residence, you can show proof that you have a job here and assets, but quite a few US citizens live abroad with their foreign spouses. This is specifically common in the past few years because of the visa backlog. We have clients from Pakistan, India, China, the Philippines that were forced to move outside of the United States to spend time with their spouses because they want to have kids, they don't want to be separated from their loved ones, and they ended up going and living there. But how do you overcome the domicile requirement if you're now a US citizen filing for the green card for your spouse and now you're residing abroad? Let's talk about if you're residing abroad only temporarily. Quite a few US citizens are now working for the government, maybe a research institution recognized by the Department of Homeland Security, you're working for a foreign company that is engaged in developing trade with the US, and some people work for certain public international organizations. And finally, a lot of US citizens are working in religious occupations, ministers, priests, and they're serving overseas. If you are falling in any of these categories, it is okay to show that you're doing that on a temporary basis, and therefore you can still show domicile even if you file for your spouse while working for one of these categories, you'll still qualify as domicile in the United States. But what if you've been residing abroad for quite a few years and you're not working for a government agency or research institution, as I mentioned before? What if you just wanna be with your spouse and you decided to move overseas? What you're gonna do is you're still gonna file the regular documents, you're still gonna file the affidavit of support to show that you have financial stability and if you don't have enough income, you can always use a co-sponsor, specifically if you didn't file income taxes in the United States. And in terms of domicile, as long as you can show that you have an intention to establish domicile before the visa is issued, before the visa is issued, or if the case is happening in the United States, before the adjustment of status is final. Now also, if the sponsor is going to be arriving to the United States at the same time as the immigrant, then the requirement of domicile will be satisfied at that time because the US citizen now has the intention and show that they are here in the United States intending to reside with their foreign spouse. But in practice, as we're looking at our cases, it's always a good idea to show to the government that you have an intention to establish domicile before you arrive to the United States with your foreign spouse. For example, maybe you secured a lease on a house, maybe you have enough bank accounts here, maybe you filed your tax returns. The point is that they wanna see that you have domicile or intend to establish domicile before your foreign spouse arrives to the United States. Once again, if you're a US citizen and now you're residing abroad and you're planning to file a green card application for your foreign spouse, remember that the domicile requirement is going to come up, so start thinking about it now, how you're going to be able to satisfy it, what documents you have at the moment, and what documents you need to acquire to meet those requirements, so this way you won't have any issues with your green card case. As always, if you need help with your green card application, if you're now abroad or in the United States and you're filing for a green card for your spouse, you know what to do. Send me a text, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.